Holy cow! <laughs> what? Hey, Harry Potter fans! Peter Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. Today we are opening up the Wizarding Trunks Ministry of Magic box. This has received rave reviews from people who have received it, so I'm excited to dive in and see if it makes it into our top three Wizarding Trunk boxes. So this right here is the Wizarding Trunks Owlry box, which is their bi-monthly subscription box, but I have one more thing to show you before we open this one. I have another Wizarding Trunk box right here that we're going to open up in a few days. So we're going to have back-to-back -back Wizarding Trunk unboxing videos. This one right here, even though it says the Owlry on it, this is actually their core quarterly special edition subscription box, so it should say high security vault on here. But the theme of this box is characters we love to hate. That's gonna be really interesting. And I've also seen a lot of rave reviews about that special edition box too. Now I do wanna mention that if you like this box, this box has been restocked on the Wizarding Trunks website. So even though it's a past box, you can still purchase it if you missed out. But let's take a look at the box here. The beautiful design, if you know Ministry of Magic and things that fly around the Ministry of Magic, you are thinking Ministry of Magic memo. So this is an interdepartmental, in, inter, interdepartmental? Interdepart, intradepartmental? Interdepartmental. I'm gonna go with that one. An interdepartmental memo. So it's a memo that is bewitched to fly to different departments. So it has some fun stamps on here, like confidential, Ministry of Magic stamps, cool Ministry of Magic logo there, and fragile or fragile magical delivery. One, two, three, the box has been, ooh, look at that. The box has been opened. Look at the side of the box there. That's a really cool design. Looking good so far. All right, there is a big box for Ron in here. Normally I save the big boxes for Ron for last, but we're gonna open this first. It looks like a crate and burned into the wood is the Ministry of Magic logo. Nice looking box. So could this be like a magical creature or something, or something, I don't know, something rare? It's heavy, it's in styrofoam, so it needs protection. Are you, oh my gosh. I was gonna say, are you kidding me? And then it just shook me even more. Look at the wands. This is so beautiful. It looks like it's gold leaf or gold foiled or something. It's just paint, but it looks like gold leaf. This is a take on the fountain in the hall of the Ministry of Magic, where we see a witch and a wizard, a centaur, a goblin, and a house elf. I forget what this fountain is called, but it's a fountain and I love fountains. And this thing right here, oh my word. Look at the detail on each of these characters. The gold, it looks like gold leaf. That is stunning. And it's on this really nice stand that's painted to look like stone or marble. Cool design around the edge. Just overall, a fantastic statue and to take on that famous fountain. I love the wands raised in the air. So cool. That's really, really well done. I've said this in past videos, I don't always love statue or like ornament things because they aren't always done well. That one is done really well. Good start to the box. I'm glad we went with the big box for Ron. Let's open up. What's that? Let's open up this, which is gonna be a potion. And it's a blue potion. And it says, ooh, it is a truth serum, a Veritas truth serum, three drops per dose, bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. It is a more simple potion from the Wizarding Trunk, which is nice. It's cool to receive the ornate and beautiful potions, but it's also nice to have more small and less decorative potions for your potion shelf. Because that's what you would have in your potion cupboard or cabinet, you would have a mixture of really nice expensive potions and things that you just whipped up for yourself. And this is like something you just whipped up for yourself. So this is great. Variety is good. We have a coin here. Oh, cool. Okay, I think, all right, issued to senior ministry officials, DMT, NFA. I don't know what, let me think about this. What I'm pretty sure this is for is like a coin to enter the Ministry of Magic because on the back here we have a fireplace. It's the flu network. Oh, flu network. Something flu network. Network Flu Association. I don't know. It's something, it's it's a way to get into the Ministry of Magic. That's my guess. Here's the front of the coin. 
and then again the back of the coin which shows those fun green tiles as well as the fireplace. This is a really nicely made coin. I like the shape of it. We have a box here that says Unlocking Magic, and there's a little lock on it. Unlocking Magic, Ministry of Magic. I mean, it's probably a key. It feels like a key. Okay, it's a key. Oh, holy cow, wait. Two things. We have a box for a key. I have a little bubble bag here. It's not packaged like this anymore. We have a box from the Wizarding Trunk for their keys. That is very exciting. I'm very glad the Wizarding Trunk is packaging their keys like this. They were the first company to come out with magical keys. And in my opinion, like a beautiful box to store your key in just elevates magical keys so much. So. But this is the Minister for Magic's key. So it says Minister on the base. The key teeth has an M on it. And then there's like a crest at the top. Just overall really nice, beautiful design, ornate design. The silver's nice. Part of me thinks like gold Gold would have been a better color for the Minister of Magic, but then I look at this and it's like, this is really gorgeous. It has an aged look to it, like it's been passed down from minister to minister. So they definitely went with the right color choice. Really nice. It's a little bit smaller, which is nice. A lot of the Wizarding Trunk keys are a little on the thicker side. This one really shows off the detail and is a little bit more delicate, if that makes sense. Still like a sturdy key, but delicate. This is the box that has my eye. We've never seen a box like this from the Wizarding Trunk. It's a blue box and stamped in gold foil it says the wizarding trunk. So let's see what is inside here. Oh, nice. It's a wax seal. So we have some wax as well as the wax seal stamp as well. And it says from the desk of the minister. So this is an official minister for magic wax seal stamp, very fun product. And when stamped, that at the top is what you're gonna see. Great box, love that box. All right, we have, ooh, holy cow. <laughs> What? This thing's heavy. Oh my word. <gasps> okay, let's just, hold on. It's a magical law enforcement badge. Department head, magical law, has three wands, a dragon at the top, this thing right here, solid metal. It's not a little plastic thing. And then this is on like a faux leather. It has a hook to put it on your pocket or around your belt. And then you can open this up and take the badge off of the little holster or holder and like attach it to your shirt or something. This is so well done. This deserves a holy moly cannoli. You all know I'm serious when I say that. I don't know if you guys understand just how heavy this is. This feels like something you would receive if you were part of the magical law enforcement department. This right here might go with that. I'm pretty sure that this is a wand holster. And then you attach this to your belt or your pants and stupefy. Very fun, simple design. Just a great way to hold your wand, especially at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. This would be fantastic. A lot of times you don't really have a place to put your wand and you're not supposed to put it in your back pocket, which is elementary wand safety. This way you have it at your side. No one's gonna steal your wand and it will always be at the ready. On the side is a Ministry of Magic stamp. That's really nice. It's stamped into the faux leather itself. We have another book cover. And this book cover is going to be the second in the new series by the Wizarding Trunk, which will fit the UK house editions, but not just the UK house editions. It's going to fit most of the UK hardback editions. So the adult editions, which just means it has a different cover. The 15th anniversary editions, the original Bloomsbury editions. I'm just gonna pull this one right here since it's next to me. This is one of the newer adult editions and it's gonna fit this for Chamber of Secrets. The book cover that fit Philosopher's Stone, the first book, came in the Stain at School for the Holidays Keep Collecting box, which is the collaboration that I did with the Wizarding Trunk. That book cover may be available sometime in the future if you missed out on that. But let's take a look at the second in the series, Unspeakable Guide to Magical Mysteries by Octavius Dreadwire. So if you don't know, the people who work at the department of Mysteries in the Ministry of Magic, where they study things like, you know, time and death and all those things. They're called unspeakables. Like the scientists of the Department of Mysteries are called unspeakables. So this is a really cool play on words, an unspeakable guide to magical mysteries. Very, very fun. As always, love the gold foiling, that Niffler inducing gold foiling, as well as the overall kind of aged look that the book has. And then I don't know if you noticed, but the end papers or end flaps match those in the box. 
Very cool tie in there. Let's put this on the book. Now the really nice thing about the Wizarding Trunks new book series is how many books it fits. So even if you don't have the house editions, you could purchase any other used books on eBay as long as they are at the UK hardcovers. When we were talking about doing a book cover for the Holiday Keep Collecting Box, the Wizarding Trunks said, hey, why don't we start the series with the UK hardcover house editions? And then I said, actually, this new series is not going to just fit the house editions. It's going to fit pretty much any UK hardcover book, which just opens the door for so many of you to be able to find books, or if you have the books already on your shelves, to use these new book covers. So again, as long as it's a hardcover UK edition, even like the Australian editions or the Canadian editions, these will fit most of those books. But here we have that mysterious book right here. Yeah. And on the back, we can tell it was designed by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. That's kind of his signature on his book covers. All right, what is next? We have a pin. You all want to see the pin first? I'm going to let you see the pin first. It is a pin of... Ooh, I mean, cool pin, but that's sad, but also cool. It's the archway that Sirius Black falls through, and it's like a portrait of Sirius Black in the archway. Very clever idea. I like it, but also don't like it. I think I would have liked it more if it was just a picture of a curtain as opposed to Sirius Black being in there. And it's clever. I see where they were going with this. It's like a portrait, but not in a frame. The frame is the archway, but I think it would have been a better pin for me personally, at least, if it was just a picture of a curtain or something. That said, the pin itself looks fantastic. It is silver paint, so if you rub your hand over it, little flecks of silver paint are coming off. But what I like about that is it looks and feels like silver foiling or silver leaf. It just gives off a really, really nice shine and sparkle. All right, we have a white box here and inside. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. What a cute idea. So we have a telephone booth, which is one of the entrances to the Ministry of Magic, but it is a coin bank. So I like this for multiple reasons because it's a clever use of like an item or an object, a phone booth into a coin bank, but it's also kind of a nod to the Chamber of Secrets coin bank that was in the first Keep Collecting box that I did with the Wizarding Trunk. So this is a metal coin bank with some plexi on the inside. And then at the top, we have the slit for the coins and a little stopper to take the coins out. Even if you don't use this as a coin bank, it's great to be displayed. This is a great display piece too. A few items left and then, ooh, more than a few items left and then the cheat sheet. Oh, this is fun. Magistration identity card. So this is like a DIY thing where you can add your picture and write your name in there, the department you work for, your eye color, fingerprints, etc. A very fun item. We have a purple folder which has the Ministry of Magic logo on it and it says something report. It's hard to see. Something magical, something commission, blood report, wand registration, magical registration commission, magical registration commission. Okay, so that's what it says on the front. Counterfeit, family tree. Oh, blood status report. Oh, it does say blood report. Okay, so magical registration commission, blood status report. So this is another kind of do it yourself thing where you fill in your blood status as a witch or wizard to be completed with suspect in custody, use only ministry approved purple ink. It's a place to put your fingerprints and it looks like I don't have the correct blood status because my family tree has been deemed counterfeit. So I must be a mud blood or a squib or something, but, but it's also cool because you have a wand registration form too that you can fill out and select the length, the width, the wand core, the wand type, etc. And then all of these papers are signed by the assistant to the high magistrate. Oh, Octavius Dreadworth, or whatever his name is, the author of The Unspeakables book. We have an interdepartmental memo. Did I say interdepartmental or inner? I think I said interdepartmental. So it is interdepartmental memo. But what this is, is a weekly planner sheet. So you circle the day, things to do, your priorities, your notes, things to do for shopping, etc. And we have probably 25 sheets on here. Very fun Ministry of Magic purple color. And hopefully this will help you organize your day. All right, we have come down to the cheat sheet. 
Dum -da -da. Oh, there's one item in here that's missing that the Wizarding Trunk asked me to mention is coming in the next bi-monthly box. So if you're already signed up to receive the bi-monthly box, that extra item, which I will tell you about, will be automatically put into that next box. If you purchase just this box and are not receiving the next one, email the Wizarding Trunk and they will send that item out to you. And that item is the next creature page, which is the Manticore and Mer Person. And we'll read the description here. A page torn from Magical Creature Creatures A to Z, written by the Wizarding Trunk and designed by Wizardry Workshop. On the front of the cheat sheet, we have another kind of fill in the blank thing. Department of Magical Travel, International Travel Permit Application. That's fun. All these fun different applications and things that you need to send in. You can add photographs to it and your information. And it's things like this that just really make you feel like you are part of the wizarding world. So creative things like this always make me happy. All right, the unspeakable guide to magical mysteries. This cover fits the second UK house edition book, or really any Chamber of Secrets UK edition book. Magical travel coin. Only senior ministry officials may travel directly into the ministry. Keep this coin on you at all times. Daily memo pad. Perfect for planning your day at work, home, or school. The newest portrait pin. Perfect for your growing collection. Wand holster. All wands must be properly secured during working hours. Work ID card. This ID card must be completely filled out before your first day of work. Truth serum. Veritas means truth, and that's exactly what this serum forces you to tell. This virtually clear potion is almost undetectable and highly regulated. Bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Ministry Key. This key allows access into the minister's office. Minister's Wax Seal. Documents stamped with this seal come directly from the minister. Telephone Booth Coin Bank. Perfect for holding both magical and non-magical coins. Entry Statue. This statue welcomes all visitors. Department Head Badge. Congratulations on your promotion to Magical Law Department Head. Magical Documents. These documents must be completed while questioning those who may be lying about their magical abilities. And the next monthly theme is going to be professors. This was a great box. I love the statue. Love, love, love this statue. This is definitely going on the shelves. This I thought was a very clever use of a telephone booth. This thing right here is impressive. If you're a cosplayer, this would be perfect. Again, this is solid metal. That's like so well done. There were so many great things in this box. Things that kind of make you feel like you're part of the wizarding world. The book cover is really nice. A great second book cover in the series. Love the key. Love the new key packaging. So overall, a fantastic box. What did you guys think about this new bi-monthly box from the Wizarding Trunk? Let me and the Potter Collector community know your thoughts in a comment down below. If you would like to subscribe to the Wizarding Trunk, both their bi-monthly and quarterly subscription boxes are open for subscriptions. Check the description down below for information. And again, you can purchase this entire box on the Wizarding Trunk's website. It has been restocked. And don't forget, in a few days, we will be opening up the next Wizarding Trunk box with the theme characters we love to hate. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram, at the Potter Collector, or on Twitter, at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome. We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?